This is Simon's Whispers. It's been quite a while since uh, I've made a Whisper video. It's been over a year. I don't really know the exact date, to be honest. Uh, this morning, I made an eating video. Uh, it's going to require a little bit of editing, with some slightly out of practice, so I didn't leave the sounds off my laptop. received an email. So while I was having a nice, quiet ASMR eating session, <laughs> it was suddenly disturbed by this uh, really loud chime getting an email through, which was annoying. Probably proved quite off-putting for people, I guess. So I'm going to try and edit that out. into a few more Whisper videos recently. I had a bit of a break from listening to them for a while. And uh, partly because someone that I listen to a lot actually quit. Uh, Utaki boy, Darren. Um, someone that I really miss listening to. Uh, his channel was so good. Um, so, although I'll never know why he left, for his own reasons, I guess. Um, that's somebody's voice that I do really miss. It's really funny, especially as a um, Star Trek impersonation of uh, Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> I wish I could do it so I could... Uh, if he was listening, so he'd be impressed, actually, that I, I've, I gave it a go. But um, it was only my other half. In front of who really isn't a Star Trek fan, so it was a, a bit of a, a waste of effort. <laughs> so, so much has happened since my last video. Um, I got engaged. Whoa, yeah, massive news. Um, yeah, I got engaged, and um, so that was. Uh, October, so that was really huge. Um, I think I'd made my last whisper video just before that, really. It couldn't have been, I don't know, maybe four months, three months before that. I really don't know. It's, it feels like ages ago since I made it. Um, but so long ago, in fact, that since then I've actually got married. <laughs> space of, you know, what, what really seems like nothing. So that's how long I've been out of the loop, really, with, um, with the community, I guess. Um, I'm still doing the same job, uh, although I've had a couple of promotions since speaking last. Uh, sadly, it's not presents its own challenges. So some really strong female characters within my team, so I've got my work cut out for me definitely. Uh, they don't always get on with each other. <laughs> so I'm really thankful that the guys in the team just get on with it. Um, and uh, some of, most of the girls do. There's a couple that don't really get on. Tit for tat from time to time, uh, where I end up as the middleman. <laughs> but I definitely can't complain about them. I think they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant people. And uh, there's no point being a manager of any sort if uh, you can't manage. 
manage little tiffs and things. So I guess it's just a fairly normal occurrence. I wouldn't really know. So, um, so it's my first time uh, having a big team. So I'm assuming this is quite normal. <laughs> People will probably could put comments on now saying uh, maybe it's not normal. Maybe I need to really manage my team better. Or uh, hopefully you don't think I've been sexist by singling out the girls in that. But it's actually true that they do argue. Not because they're girls, just because it's two people that don't get on in the team. Uh, well, I say, yeah, two that don't get on and another one that's kind of on the fence, I guess. Uh, but not because they're girls, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> The same thing does happen with with guys, just not in my team, thankfully. I couldn't deal with that as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm really going to try and make more videos and um, I'm going to try and get back on this and make sure that I'm uh, making at least one a week. Because really, it doesn't take long and I've got no excuse. So for those people that have been um, checking back with my channel every now and again and been disappointed, I'm really sorry. I did reply to some people's comments over a week ago saying I was going to make one the following day. I had the best of intentions, but I'm really sorry that that turned out to be a lie. Um, but life things uh, came up, so able to. Uh, but my intention now is to make as many as I can each week really whenever I get the time. And some eating videos and things too for those that are that way inclined. Uh, I certainly am. I really love eating videos, chewing gum and uh, things like chicken wings especially. So Tahiti Bay has a really good chicken wing video. I've watched it so many times. has happened over the past year and a half or whatever it's been um, since uh, we've spoken. Um, yes, I've started playing Airsoft. Um, I used to play a lot of paintball when I was at uni and um, a bit before that as well as when I first got into it. expanded and um, hadn't really gone since, I'd only gone a couple of times really, so um, hadn't played competitively, hadn't been in any competitions or anything like that. So a friend of mine asked if I wanted to do some airsoft, which is very similar to paintball, except instead of big paintballs, they're normally, um, like the paintballs are quite big in comparison to the BBs that you use in airsoft. The BBs are small 6mm BBs um, and they travel a bit faster than we were allowed to shoot at paintball. So these ones go at 350 feet per second rather than at the paintball site which was, I think it was 260 that they used to allow at that field I think. Um, if memory serves, I think it was anyway. I can't quite remember. Um, but these are a lot quicker. Um, they don't really hurt any more than paintballs it's not much different in that respect um, but people buy airsoft guns uh, and they buy them so they actually look like real guns people seem to take it quite seriously um, I don't intend to take it that seriously I want to do it for fun really uh, and good exercise too because I haven't really been working out too much that's something I do need to do. So, uh, I bought my first airsoft gun. It arrived today. Um, so, uh, you have to get a license. You have to get what's called a Yukara license. And that's because 
in Britain we've got very, very strict gun laws. So you can't buy what is technically a, um, like a replica firearm um, because they're made to look the same. Uh, you can't buy one just for fun without being a, having gone to an airsoft field. Uh, there's a particular r set of rules which is you have to have been there three times in more than two months or something like that. Um, uh, so I'd become a member of a field and, and gone a few times first and then started to have a think about what one I wanted to buy really. So I bought the Ares Amoeba Honey Badger. Um, Honey Badger 14. Um, those people that have ever played Call of Duty will know that, that the Honey Badger is in this one but the last one I think um, so he's a, in real life he's named after the, the honey badger the, uh, the little critter um, supposed to be the most fearless animal on earth so uh, it's a really cool name for the little, uh, little gun that's um, that's now taking his name so haven't even is any yet or anything really uh, just got back from work um, just got it out of the box to make sure that it, it was in one piece really uh, after it being transported um, that was my main concern whenever you get things delivered you never know and there was uh, like brown tape on one side of the box so I was wondering whether it had been opened or anything and it hadn't thankfully it's been it seems like it's in fine condition, so I'll have a go tomorrow and make sure everything's working and have a look at the uh, how to adjust it and things like that. So, I'm going to make another video soon, and then, as I say, I'm going to try and make more. And uh, I think one, definitely talk about Airsoft. I'm going to tell you all about what I've been buying and what I've been up to with that that way inclined or interested at all and uh, another video about my wedding um, that's definitely a must isn't it um, so whether you're thinking about maybe popping the question yourself asking a lovely lady to marry you or maybe you're the lovely lady and somebody's asked you to marry them. And not to forget, it might be a gentleman and another gentleman.